Finally for this hour, the 35th International Moscow Sabre Tournament has seen some of the world's best fencers touch down in Moscow. With the men's duelling done and dusted over the weekend, it was time for our correspondent Konstantin Potapov to take up a seat for the pick of the women's action on Monday. The history of the women's sabre fencing is really short. In 1999, the first world championship was held, and within five years, this discipline of fencing was included into the program of the Olympic Games. During these years, Russia women proved themselves to be great fencers. Our position in women's sabre fencing are much stronger than the men, and undoubtedly, we can expect good performance from our athletes. Sofia Velika and Yekaterina Dyachenko were considered to be among the favorites of the Moscow Sabre tournament. And it wasn't a surprise they got through to the semifinals easily, where they had to face Eugene Bao and Mariel Zagunis. In the first bout, it seemed like Velika would not have any problems against Bao. The Russian fencer controlled the fight, but the more experienced 26-year-old Chinese athlete managed to claw out a narrow victory, 15-13. Unfortunately, I lost control in the middle of the fight and got five hits in a row. Though I had a comfortable lead, the Chinese got the initiative. But these are psychological problems that I can deal with, and nevertheless I'm satisfied with the level of performance I've showed tonight. Meanwhile, the spectators continued to support the Russian Sabre fans in the second match, but the result disappointed them even more. Dichenko who won this tournament twice, could do nothing with the current number one in the ranking Zagunis. The two-time Olympic champion got an electric start, 8-3 towards the break, and finished the bout with the final score, 15-9. Well, as usual, there's always something to work on and to try to perform better, because I didn't win first place. I tried hard, but could do nothing with the American. She was just stronger today. In the final, Zagunis continued to use the same tactics. But Bao was ready for that and had a remedy. As a result, Zagunis lost her second final in a week. I was happy with the way I fenced most of the day. Obviously, I wanted to win and I didn't fence very well in the last bout, but second is still a good result, so I'm happy with this. And Bao made herself a good present for the Chinese New Year that is being celebrated now. Konstantin Potapov, RT.